the beast from the abyss was back in Revelation chapter 11 this was the French Revolution so this power was the Illuminati power who rose in the Jacobin clubs that took over the uh, the nation and this was pure atheism or Satanism it was uh, an absolute direct um, opposition to the God uh, to the God of heaven, but it was directed in rebellion against um, the Vatican essentially. So the French Revolution um, led to a lot of blood flowing, massive um, destruction of a lot of people. And um, so this was the beast from the abyss that was and then is not so it disappeared it went underground and now it's risen again in COVID 2020 so that's what we've seen Robert I hope that all makes sense it says here that the waters which you saw where the horse sits are people's multitudes nations and tongues and the ten horns that you saw on the beast these will hate the horse so here's the good news um, the ten horns on the beast from the abyss will hate the whore and make her desolate and naked and eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Well, I'm, that's not really good news, but this will be a judgment. And so the warning in Revelation 18 that I'm seeking to give, it says that there's a great an angel that comes down from heaven um, with great power, having great authority in the earth, is lightened with his glory and he's crying mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen and has become a habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk, now all the nations, so before it was the kings of the earth now all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication so she is the head of the human trafficking system and she's been using these children and people who've been trafficked to um, corrupt the kings of the earth and um, so what happens is I'll be really I'm going to be really upfront on camera and look I'll probably get the chop for this but I'm just going to share it. So what we know is that um, George Pell was actually the man who did this. He was the money bag man, and um, they will come to a newly appointed person in power with a gun and a child and a video camera, and they will um, force the person in power um, by giving them this question either you take a lead bullet or um, you know you're given heavy metals in gold if you will do this and what they ask them to do is to sexually abuse the child and then kill them and then that is all on camera and then they use that to hold them hostage essentially to their agenda so they force the leader in power to go along with what they are um, asking and if they don't they just reveal the uh, dirt that they've got on them that they've compelled them to do. Actually I think this is quite an interesting topic you're raising because it's now August of 2023 and there has been a lot of uh, information coming out in the news and in the entertainment news celebrity world about a new movie called Sound of Freedom. Yeah. Now that stars the Hollywood actor Jim Caviezel mm -hmm. who also uh, starred in the Mel Gibson movie The Passion of the Christ. Right. And that movie, although you and I have not seen it, it's not actually available yet yes. for viewing in Australia. Yes. It was from last month, July, for those people in the United States. We haven't had the benefit of privilege of seeing it ourselves, but apparently that's happening quite soon. Yes. But that does focus on this whole issue of human trafficking. Exactly. Primarily, from what I can gather, children and uh, females. Yeah. And look, I, I, I think just to get back to what you touched on a moment ago, uh, there does seem to be some sort of program in place, a systematic 
type of blackmail mm. for people who reach the upper levels of society right. so they can be controlled. Uh, right. Quote, unquote, we've got one over you. Yes. So you'll be doing what we say. Exactly. We've heard rumours or reports of this for years. Not much hard evidence or proof comes out about it, but I think right. from what you're saying, and certainly from what others are saying, including mm. some in Hollywood, the proverbial whistleblowers, mm -hmm. information is going to come out to confirm that these things aren't urban myths, mm. uh, they aren't rumours and conspiracies that go charging around on the internet. Mm. There could be some real truth to, to these stories about n nefarious activities. Yes, yes, yes. And with regards to that movie, Robert, I've just looked it up and um, it's interesting. Uh, Sydney Morning Herald just reported five days ago that the blockbuster Sound of Freedom heads to Australian cinemas. Uh, it will be released in Australia by Icon Film Distribution on August 24, which is very interesting because August 24 is exactly one month to September 24, which is um, September 23, 24 is like going to be uh, on all these timelines or that I'm about to show uh, a hugely significant date. Now as to whether anything happens on earth on that date, I can't tell, but in God's kingdom, on his timelines, um, it appears to be showing up as a hugely significant date. So this movie is released exactly one month before then in Australia. So, so that's quite interesting.